Hi, right, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're going to talk about what to expect when you get your vehicle shipped. Uh, we do live in southern Florida, almost the most southern part of Florida. We don't live in Miami, but we live pretty close. Yeah. Um, the one thing you want to expect is delays. With the uh, shipping industry, right now there's not enough people to, you know, truck drivers or anything like that to be able to do it. So there is going to be delays. There are a few people that I've talked to who've gotten their vehicle three days after they got their build picture. Uh, everybody calls them the baby Bronco pictures, the one that's on the assembly line. But those are few and far between because they have a unique situation that most of us don't have. The people I've talked to that had that happen, they live within 30 minutes motorcycles, Harleys, if you can't tell. So they live within 30 minutes of Michigan Auto Plant. Their dealership is literally across the street from it. So all they have to do is once it's done, do their quality check and drive it right across the street. Yeah. There you go. That's the, that's the perfect world. We do not live in the perfect world. We live in the very unperfect world, which is you have to rely on rail and, and then truck. truck afterwards now at the bottom of the uh, window sticker you'll know if it's truck or rail by the bottom of the window sticker uh i'll put it up on the screen yeah. and i'll sing uh circle out what i'm talking about that right there you can trail whether it's going to be by rail or by truck um ours went by rail and she'll talk about what happened with them okay so <laughs> As he was saying, it went by rail from Michigan to Jacksonville, Florida. So it has to hit certain hubs on the way out. So it got unloaded at Jacksonville and sat for a little bit. And then it made it all the way down to Miami, probably on either a different train or a truck. I don't know for sure, but it went past us to go down to Miami. And that's exactly where it's at right now. So we know it's in Florida. It's a little yeah. less than four hours away. The problem is we can't go get it because it needs to come back up via truck to our area to be PDI'd and then the dealership will let us know that it's okay to pick it up. Yeah. So, so that's what we're dealing with. What it started out as is we got it built. We got a email on the 13th saying it was shipped. The 13th of December? Yeah, the 13th of December saying it was shipped. Last year. <laughs> Last year, yeah. Um, and then we ended up getting our delivery window from... Oh, this is actually a quiet one. Uh, we got a delivery window from the 26th of December to the 1st of January. Well, 1st of January came by, went, no vehicle. Then the 2nd, then the 3rd, then when I checked the window, or I checked the uh, data again, it showed my delivery window changed from the 2nd to the 8th. Okay, it changed once. Now we went from, you know, we waited that whole time. Come the 8th, still nothing. Come the 9th, still nothing. Come the 10th, guess what? That change happened again. You look on the data or you look on the, uh, the reserve, you know, the whatever they call it, the data for it, when now it's going to be shipped. And by this time, it moved from Jacksonville and it was in transit down to Miami. And it changed from the 8th to the 14th. Well, or eight, actually 8th to the 16th. Well, we were like, okay, you know, it'll be here by the 16th. Well, it's the 16th. Actually, it's the 15th today, right? Yeah, it's Yeah, 15th. today it's the 15th when we're filming this. So it didn't show up. It yeah. hasn't shown up. On the 12th, it changed another time. So now it says the 14th to the 20th. Do I expect it to be here by uh, the 20th? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. It is in Miami, so I was able to contact somebody to let me know that actually, since the beginning of January, I think it was the 27th? of uh, December, December it was actually in Jacksonville so yeah. it's been here in Florida less than four hours away yeah 
since the 27th of direction. December. When we get it, I don't know. It's frustrating, it's, I know. It's but, here. It, it's here. We just can't go get it, and it but sucks. There's, <laughs> but there's nothing we can do. Uh, we're not mad at Ford because that's no. the shipping industry. Everything is delayed because no truck drivers, and yeah. I know the problems that are going on. No rail. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's hard for that. Yeah. And we, Things happen. We yeah. get it. I'll tell you this right now. The weight gets harder the closer it gets. Knowing that it is in Miami, <laughs> and it's actually less than two hours away from us, it is hard as hell to just sit there and wait. It's, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but there's really nothing you can do with it or about it because you can't go get it. Trust nope. me, if there's a way to go get it, I would. We would have done it already. I would have done it on the second or the first. But I do have somebody in, a Ford dealership that I'm that I used to be at and she's also in charge of like the new inventory that gets shipped in so she'll get the information probably even before we do that it's on a truck coming up to us and then she'll mm -hmm. alert me on my phone say hey look it's on its way but yeah. then I'll tell him we do have everything have set in place we do have everything set in place uh, and it's just a matter of waiting know, matter of waiting right now we're there's nothing we can do. I mean, there's nothing we can do before, but there really isn't anything we can do now. The weight just gets harder the closer it gets. Yeah. The day it shows up at my dealership and they have to do the PDI, I will be there the entire day waiting for that. I will sleep on the floor if I have to, <laughs> to wait for that vehicle to be uh, given to me so I can drive away with it, or she can drive away with it, actually. Hope this is helpful. It is frustrating, I know. We've been waiting for a year and a half, actually. So we That's ordered it more. <laughs> we ordered it more than a year ago. In fact, yeah, a year ago. Well, almost a year ago. It was the twentieth. So in five days, it would have been exactly one year since we ordered it. We did reserve it six months before. Now that it's this close, we know we're excited. I mean, we have one right now, but. It's not our build. It's not our build. It's not the one that we built or the one that she built when she was going through cancer. Uh, it's the one that kind of left over from somebody else. The other one, even though it's not, we haven't had it, it is almost a sentimental build for us because it was something that gave her something to focus on rather than the cancer that was harming her or the treatment that was harming her, in fact, yeah. you know, so is an uh, important build for us. It is something that we're gonna keep probably forever along with uh, Bronco Sport. Now these, I'm gonna keep these as long as I can. I love these things. Uh, so we'll do what we can with them, play with them, and hopefully be in our inventory for a very long time. So again, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and the next step that happens with the Bronco, the Badlands, We'll let you know. Uh, we want to let you guys know what's going on with your builds and what it, to expect after it's built, which we've been doing with our build. So living vicariously through us, you guys know what to look for and what to expect once that stuff comes, comes available. So again, hope you liked the video. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.